El cambio climático es una de las eh, tareas globales que se ha destacado como prioritaria, no solamente para efectos de coordinación entre los diferentes países, sino particularmente dentro de los mismos. Y una de las tareas fundamentales es la emisión de legislación eh, que pueda contender contra los efectos del cambio climático. Sin embargo, lo que haga un país y deje de hacer otro puede tener repercusiones importantes en los costos de producción, en los costos de eh, participación global e inclusive en la competitividad. De ahí que en 1989 se conformara la Organización Internacional de, Par de Parlamentarios, es eh, Globe International o eh, Globe eh, eh, Congressmen o Globe eh, Parliaments International, que eh, lo que busca es establecer sistemas de coordinación global para que la legislación que se emite en un país o en el otro tenga eh, semejante vamos, que, que se parezca en un país y que en el otro no eh, se exceda o se haga más laxa, de tal manera que se pueda eh, combatir internacionalmente un problema que hoy afecta a todo el globo. Eh, para eso nos hemos enlazado en esta barra de opinión hasta Londres con eh, Adam Matthew, que él es el secretario general de Globe International y quien estuvo aquí en México hace un par de semanas eh, entrevistándose con eh, los presidentes de la Cámara de Diputados y Senadores para eh, coordinar la posibilidad de que México sea sede del Congreso Internacional de Parlamentarios contra el Cambio Climático in 2014. Uh, hi, Adam. Nice to meet you and, and welcome to the Barra de Opinión. Hello. Thank you very much. It's uh, very nice to join you from a very uh, snowy and wintry London. What's um, the, the importance of uh, this global international organization? Well, the main purpose of my visit to Mexico was to meet with the President of the Senate, the President of the Congress, and to meet with the heads of the main political parties and Globe Mexico, because I was very keen to discuss the possibility that Mexico would host the second World Summit of Legislators in the year 2014. And I was very keen to understand that this is something that the Congress and the Senate were keen to do, and also that this is something that the government would be prepared prepared to support. Um, I was delighted with the visit, um, extremely positive set of meetings. Um, we would be looking to bring 500 um, congressmen, senators, presidents of congresses and senates to Mexico next year for a major event looking at the laws that parliaments can enact that are complementary to each other to address issues of climate change, uh, deforestation, and um, how we value uh, the natural capital upon which we all depend. Why is uh, um, so important uh, this importance of Globe International to support national congressmen to monitor, for example, the the um, uh, amendments to to uh, forestry law or climate change that has been uh, just issued here in Mexico last year? Yes, absolutely. I mean, the particular reason to come to Mexico is because Mexico really has demonstrated its leadership um, in the sense that in the previous Congress, before the elections, you passed To, you passed a law on climate change um, and you amended laws in relation to forestry. Both of these things Mexico was under no obligation to do. Um, it decided on its own terms with the support of all the main political parties to enact this legislation. Um, the Globe Mexico group were very important in this. Um, and as I said, with members of Congress and Senate from all political parties. And this has had a major impact around the world because it's shown Mexico in a very positive light. I travel to many countries. I visit many parliaments. What Mexico did last year was hugely significant because it was a parliament, the second in the world, that's actually enacted legislation um, to address climate change. Many others are keen to learn that lesson. And the particular challenge for this Congress is to implement that law, which is the much harder task. And I must compliment and pay um, my recognition to the fact that the President of the Senate, the President of the Congress, both of them recognized this, as did the major political parties there in Mexico. So um, we're very keen to bring legislators from around the world to a country that's demonstrating leadership. Mexico has done that, but the particular focus on implementing that law is what's so important, and that's why we're keen to come to Mexico next year, because it's a country that is um, really showing what's um, 
needs to be done in terms of creating the right laws, the right regulatory frameworks, and um, we'll begin to face up to the challenge of implementing that. And so we're keen that other countries can learn from that experience. And uh, then, uh, well, as you said, uh, the, um, the issue is one thing and then the implementation and the monitoring is a, is a third. But uh, how many countries has, um, has uh, been working on, on issuing uh, um, uh, climate change law or anti-deforestation laws or even saving energy laws? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, many countries have laws to different degrees. What, what Mexico did was introduce comprehensive national legislation on climate change and separately was the first country to introduce um, amendments to prepare for the international system that's been developed on deforestation. It's called Red Plus. Um, both okay. of these things, um, Mexico really is at the forefront, although the U United Kingdom, Great Britain, has um, implemented the first comprehensive climate law. Um, since then, and since Mexico's law, um, we in the Global Legislators Organization, GLOBE, have been analyzing laws in 33 countries, and I'm pleased to say that 29 of the 33 have to begun to develop national laws to different extents on these issues, and it's a very positive picture Many countries are beginning to replicate, copy what Mexico has done. Obviously, every country's laws will be different for their own national situation, but Mexico is one of the first to, to really go down the full comprehensive um, national legislation um, like the UK did. But um, there are now a number of other countries that are beginning to do this. For example, one of the countries that GLOBE works with is China. Um, we're very heavily involved in advising the um, Chinese government on their national climate change law. Um, and equally, um, other countries such as Australia, South Korea have um, developed comprehensive national climate change legislation. And so it's a very significant movement coming from many key countries um, that will have a big impact around the world in addressing the issue of climate change. But as you say, the key thing is implementation. The key is uh, the implementation and even the monitoring from not only the parliaments but the citizens. I think it's, a, it's the most important thing to know and it's a very good, uh, it's a very good notice to have you here and uh, um, the possibility that Mexico uh, leads uh, this work uh, all over the world and even uh, to have this um, summit, international summit of congressmen in Mexico. Thank you very much for this interview and I'm Matthew, Secretario General de Globe International. Thank you very much and we're keeping in contact um, here in Navarra de Opinión. Thank you very much.